Hey guys, this is Maurice from Editors Depot, and I'm gonna make a really quick tutorial on how to edit After Effects and Cinema 4D 3D intro templates. Now, a lot of you guys might be really big fans of these tutorials, or sorry, these templates, but a lot of times they tend to have a lot of issues, and I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can with this tutorial. It's pretty much like the ultimate guide to editing this content. So if you do like it, by the way, guys, don't just remember to drop a thumbs up, like, comment, share, show anyone, even your grandma, guys. But let's go ahead and get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use the DNA After Effects template, that's what I'm calling it. And it's a 3D template by this amazing author, his, his link will be in the description. Now if you do not want to edit this template, I'm going to show it to you in a second um, to follow along. You can go ahead and check out a description for top 10 After Effects and Cinema 4D 3D intro templates. These are handpicked by us, so we've gone out of our way to make these videos for you guys. Um, pretty much our personal favorites for pretty much all of the YouTube community that we've seen so far. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start playing this video, but let me know what you think. So guys, you open up the Cinema 4D file first and we're going to see something like this and don't worry, I know it looks ugly but by the end I promise it's going to be beautiful. So, well, assuming you follow along correctly. So we're just going to go ahead and do the easy steps first. You should have some colors here in the bottom and if you don't, you can go ahead and download any material you want. Just go ahead and search free materials pack and you should see a couple things. So we're going to go ahead and use this yellow and next thing you're gonna do is just make sure you render it to see if it looks good or not uh, it looks fine to me so i'm gonna go ahead and just continue by selecting all three of the text layers here if you're following along you can just look at your own file and if you're not it should be just a turquoise text icon and you can move on then i'm gonna write ed short for editors depot and it's not gonna update right away but that's fine because i'm gonna go ahead and just select the font i'm gonna use pepsi and by the way i selected the font by just clicking this icon here you can do the same So it looks cool guys, and next thing you want to do is simply just move the text over. So I'm going to move this, drag it to the side, and see what it looks like. Nope. There we go. I'm happy now. And you're pretty much done at this point. So I do want to mention guys that a lot of these templates are not made for long names, unfortunately. If I do write Editor's Depot, you will see that it breaks apart and it didn't really fit correctly. As you can see, it's kind of weird now. Now, you, there's things you can do to fix that, but typically it takes a lot of experience, so just keep that in mind so you can go ahead and modify the name or pick a template that already has a long name or just two layers, as in one above the other. Now moving on to the render settings, you just click this button here, and if you didn't see where I clicked, it's just here. You go to output, you want to make sure it's 1920 times 1080 lock ratio, that's fine. You don't have to tick this, actually I'm not going to tick it. Make sure you still make sure it's on all frames. Then you go to save, you select somewhere where you want to save it, and make sure you save it inside of a folder because we're going to make a mess. Here we have a folder, it's called pre-render, and we're just going to save there and name this video. And make sure you save it as PNG as it's way faster, and if it's saved as QuickTime, it's going to take you all night, maybe longer. Just go save as that, and you can go ahead and just close this and click this button here to render. Now I do have to change this back to ED, so let me do that now, and now we can continue. So guys, the next step is to open up After Effects. So I already have it loaded up and I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. But as you can see, I got a notification. It says that I'm missing a plug and it's RSMB, which means real smart motion blur. And I know a lot of you guys might not have the plugins or font required. Um, a lot of times there's things missing and that's fine. Sometimes you can just continue without them. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to show you for tutorial sake that you can continue. A lot of these plugins tend to cost a lot of money and there's illegal ways to get them, but you know I'm not gonna tell you that because I don't wanna get in trouble. So here we have it, we have a template, and we're going to go ahead and continue. So guys, I just want to mention that I do not have one of the plugins that tends to be very obstructive to this template. Um, what I mean is, as you can see here, it says Sapphire Plugins. I don't know if you can read that, but that's basically what it says, and it's getting in the way, so I'm going to go ahead and just turn it off. I know for me it's layer 9, so you're going to notice that it turns off as soon as I do this. There we go. So if you want to do that because you don't have the, the plugin, you can just go ahead and do it right now. Uh, you know, if you do have this template, you can just turn it off. It's layer nine. But let's continue, guys. The first thing and pretty much the only thing you want to do is just right click the missing image sequence, go to replace footage and load it up. So you're just going to look for the folder in which you saved it. I saved mine in pre-render and I'm just going to go ahead and tick the first for the first layer and you can scroll all the way down hit Control a command a depending if you're on mac or windows 
and my computer is lagging a little bit but here we go just hold shift while you do that and the next thing you want to do is you see here where it says image sequence sorry png sequence you want to make sure that's ticked on as if you don't really click that it's not gonna load up one image after the other which would make the effect of a video you click open and it should load up every single image one after the other what i'm gonna do is add to adobe media encoder because i'm on a brand new version of after effects but if you don't have that just select add to render queue so i'm just gonna continue now so here we are guys, before I actually set up the render settings, I'm just going to let you guys know if you're still watching this video, please do drop a thumbs up and comment down below, share this video with all your friends. We read all the comments, but we can't reply to everyone because you know, there's just so many people, there's 136,000 videos as of today, sorry subscribers as of today, so you know, it's just pretty difficult to do that, but let's just go ahead and continue now that I've gotten that out of my way. He's going to go to the preset settings and you're just going to switch this, let me just wait for it to load. So here it is guys, just make sure you open this up and turn on maximum render quality and you're set at H.264. You don't really gotta get any pickier than that guys because the rest is just pretty simple and straightforward. And then after this you just select your output settings, sorry your output, um, where you wanna save it as. You just wanna make sure you save it in your desktop or your documents folder, anywhere you want. So I'm just gonna save it in my desktop and I'm just gonna leave the name as is. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, I hope you guys have an amazing day and just check out the description for other amazing content. Take care guys.